Today is another car show day. We're heading down to Monroe for what's called the Sidewinders Auto Club. Let's go check it out and see what all is there. The Sidewinders, Monroe, North Carolina. I think is somehow associated with the classic cruises of Monroe Car Club. How they are or are not related to each other, I really don't know. What I do know is they meet on the first Sunday of each month in the parking lot of the Monroe Plaza on Skyway Drive here in Monroe, North Carolina from 2 to 5 p.m. Their Facebook page says all types of cars are welcome and there are a wide variety of vehicles showing up on this warm July afternoon. Here is a stunning 1941 Willys Coupe. Beautifully painted in an eye-popping red. Nice sculling crossbones on the front of the engine there. A 1955 Bel Air station wagon. Also in an eye-popping red paint. I don't think it looked this nice when it left the factory. Here's its sister, a 55 Bel Air two-door sedan. Also in an amazing state of restoration. It's Independence Day, so lots of flags today. Another beautifully restored 55 wagon. This one being highly customized and modified. What is that? A Corvette or big Cadillac engine? It certainly is in stock. Wow, check out this amazing looking interior. They weren't making them like this in 1955. Here's a nice 67 Corvette. Not completely sure, but I think that's a 327 engine tucked in there. I stand corrected. The original sticker says it's a 350 engine. And look at that price. $5,583. That's around $46,000 in today's money. Another amazing looking red car. A 57 Ford Fairlane. Sitting right next to its primary competition. A 1956 and 57 Chevy. Lots of red cars here today. The venerable Ford Falcon. My brother had one of these. It was his first car. This one's got a four on the floor. The mid 50s Chevys are well represented here today. This one being a 1957 four door Bel Air. Next door is a 57 Ford Fairlane. Here's a 55 Chevy two-door with a nice looking paint scheme. A Trans Am and a 77 GMC pickup. Not exactly a sports car, but certainly a classic. There are several pickup trucks lined up here. Here's a 1978 Ford F100. Right next door to a 1954 version of the F100, which looks to be a work in progress. 
Back in those days, the fuel tank was kept inside the cab with you, and you literally sat on top of it. And right next door is this nice looking 65 Chevy pickup. There's an interesting combination of old and new, original and custom, works in progress and finished pieces of art here today. Here's a nice 1969 Barracuda, and of course, it's red. I can only guess what this one is, equipped with a big V8. War finish. Hmm. Maybe this was produced during World War II. Over here is a 1950 Chevy truck. Let's look inside. Now here's a car you don't see every day. A 1948 Packard Standard 8 Touring Sedan. This car has a 6 volt electrical system and under that hood is a 130 horsepower straight 8 engine. Check out that hood ornament. Wow! Original cost of this car, $2,150. That's a little over $24,000 in today's money. That instrument cluster just screams Art Deco. Here's a 1965 Plymouth Satellite, next to a 1970 Mach 1 Mustang. And what is this? An early model 1962, maybe 63 Chevy Nova, with a little straight six. Now that is an engine that I know how to work on. Here's another Plymouth, a nice 63 Belvedere. Another big V8 packed in under the hood. I think this is a 1969 Chevelle. It was cars like this that were coming off the line when I was a teenager, which I remember so fondly. I'm pretty sure this is a Ford panel truck, but that grill looks highly modified. And that is definitely not a 1950s era engine. Here's a bright red 37 Buick. Boy, if that doesn't conjure up images of gangsters flying through the streets of Chicago, hanging out the windows with their machine guns blazing, I don't know what does. Now here's a car from my formidable years. A 1973 Ford Ranchero, built the year I graduated high school. Ford has not made the Ranchero since 1979.
This one has a Cobra badge on it, so I'm guessing this is a special edition. There was quite a wide variety of cars here today. Some I was more familiar with than others. All were great fun to look at, and several brought back some great memories. As I said, this group meets on the first Sunday of the month. It's free to bring your car here, and free to come and look around. Maybe I'll see you at the next one. Until then, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thanks for watching.